Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a bootable Windows 11 installer USB on your M1 or Intel Mac. The method I'm going to show you here doesn't involve having to install Brew or Wimlib or even use the terminal at all. The Mac I'm using in this video is running Mac OS Ventura, but the steps would be the same for Monterey or Big Sur. The first thing that we need to do is download the Windows 11 ISO from the Microsoft website. Go to microsoft.com forward slash software hyphen download forward slash Windows 11 and scroll down until you see download Windows 11 disk image ISO. Click on download and then choose your language from the drop down list. Then click 64 bit download to save the ISO to your downloads folder. Now we need to format the USB drive. Plug your USB drive into your Mac. Click the launch pad icon in the dock, click on other and then click disk utility. Find your USB drive in the pane on the left. It will be listed under external. Select it and then click erase. In the window that pops up choose GUID partition map as the scheme. For the format choose MS-DOS FAT and the name can be anything you like since it will be renamed later anyway. I'm just going to call mine USB. Before continuing make sure that there's nothing on the drive that you want to keep, since any data on the drive will be lost when you format it. When you're ready click erase and the drive will be formatted. Next we're going to install UTM. UTM is a virtual machine app for the Mac that allows you to run Windows in a virtualized environment on top of Mac OS. This is what we're going to use to create the bootable USB. Go to the UTM website at mac.getutm.app and click on the download button to save it to your downloads folder. Open your downloads folder and double click on the utm.dmg file to mount it. Then you can drag the UTM icon into your applications folder. Now we need to run UTM and create a new virtual machine. Open your applications folder and double click the UTM icon. You'll see a message from macOS asking if you're sure that you want to open it. Click on open again and UTM will run. Now click on create a new virtual machine and you'll be asked to choose between virtualize or emulate. If your Mac has an Intel processor then you should click virtualize. If your Mac is an M1 or M2 Mac then you should click on emulate instead. Since I'm using an Intel Mac in this video I'm going to click virtualize. In the next window click on Windows. Then in the next window click the browse button under where it says boot ISO image. Highlight your downloads folder in the pane on the left and select the Windows 11 ISO file you downloaded in step 1. Then click open followed by continue. In the next window you'll be asked how much memory you want to give to the VM. Since I've got 16 gigabytes in my Mac, I'm going to give it 8 gigabytes or 8192 megabytes. The CPU cores can just be left as default. Click continue. Leave the amount of storage as the default 64 gigabytes. Click continue again, then continue again and finally click save. This will create a new virtual machine for running Windows. Now we're going to install Windows 11 inside the VM we just created. Click on the big play button in the main window and the virtual machine will run. You'll see a message asking you to press a key to boot from CD. Press a key now and it will start to boot from the Windows 11 ISO you selected earlier. After a while you'll see the standard Windows setup window appear. Select the language and keyboard layout you want to use and click next. Now you'll be asked for your product key. Click on I don't have a product key and click next. Next you'll be asked which version of Windows 11 you want to install. It doesn't really matter which one you choose since we're only going to be using this installation to create the bootable USB. I'm just going to choose Windows 11 Pro and then click next. Tick the box to accept the license terms and then click next again. Now you'll be asked which drive you want to install Windows on. UTM automatically created a virtual 64GB drive for us when we created the VM. This will be automatically selected so we can just click on next. Now Windows 11 will start to install and it's just a matter of waiting for it to finish. 
The VM will reboot after the installation and you'll again see the message asking you to press a key to boot from CD or DVD. This time don't press a key because we want to boot from the Windows 11 we just installed and not from the ISO. Once it's finished booting you can select your country, choose your keyboard layout and choose a username and password. Then you'll be asked to set three security questions. Again, what you choose for this doesn't really matter since we're only using this installation to create the USB. Click on next again and eventually you'll see the Windows 11 desktop appear. The Spice Guest Tool setup should automatically run and install some additional drivers. Once the install is done, click on finish. Now you can connect your USB drive to UTM. If you unplug your USB drive and then plug it back in, you'll see a pop-up appear asking if you'd like to connect it to the VM. Click on Confirm and then click on Allow and the drive will now be accessible in Windows 11. Now we can go to the Windows website in Edge and download the Windows 11 installation media creation tool. Click the Microsoft Edge icon in the taskbar and then skip through the setup clicking Start without your data, Continue without this data, don't allow and don't allow. Then go to the Microsoft website at microsoft.com forward slash software hyphen download forward slash Windows 11 and scroll down until you see create Windows 11 installation media. Click on download now and it will be saved to your downloads. Now it's time to run the Windows 11 installation media creation tool and create the bootable USB drive. Click on open file and Windows 11 setup will start. Accept the license terms, then choose a language and click on next. Make sure that USB flash drive is selected and then click next again. Now you'll be asked to select a USB drive. Make sure that your USB drive is selected and click next again. After a few minutes you'll see a message saying your USB flash drive is ready. You can now eject your USB drive and use it to install Windows 11 on a PC or on a compatible Intel Mac. You can now close the VM and delete it by selecting it and clicking on the trash can icon. Or you can just leave it in case you want to use it for something else in future. I hope this video helps, that's it for now, thanks for watching.